So this is called a beret. It's probably French origin. Um, you see a lot of girls in the streets wearing these. Um, I'm just going to give you a little technique to just to keep it on your head because I know it can slip inside and just looks really messy and you don't want to keep continuously fixing it. So I found a technique. You're going to need a beret of your choosing. I have a lot of these. I wear berets like, I don't know, probably once a week. Probably, I don't know. When I feel like I wear I have a, in different shades, colors. It's your choice. I have this like green blue thing one okay and you want to have approximately like four bobby pins you could use less you use more it just all depends on your um your options so i have a couple bobby pins keep that at hand now i just find i usually find where the tag is so the tag is right here now i know this will be in the back and this will be in the front put on your head like so some people use different styles. I let my bangs hang out. And let this go back. Okay. And then I take a bobby pin out. And this is, this is knitted. There's holes already along the knitted area. Just poke, open your body pin like this, poke it in, and just kind of weave it through your hair, and so it conceals and like prevents flyaways. Just so on windy days, you know. Oh. Sometimes I use it to secure my hair. Others I don't. So just poke it in. And stick it through the one of the holes. Just to feel more secure. Like if you want this to be lower. I take another bobby pin. Tuck it in lower. I try to stay within the scalp. So that the scalp. You know. Um, it's like kind of secured along the crown of your head, not the crown, but like a little circle, the halo on your head, and voila. You could, you could have, there's different variations with it, but um, yeah, you could just stick your body pins wherever you want and go out, even on a windy day, and it won't fall off. Um, sometimes I change it around. It all depends on you. Um, well, that's my technique. Um, sometimes it has, it'll have some everything. Okay, well, that was it for the how to wear a beret securely tutorial. And if you have any more questions, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.